it is I, Dalek Sram, aka Mark. As you can see, I have returned to the XL event complex in London to attend VidCon London. As you can see there, that's the banner. Uh, for those of you who may remember, I went to VidCon in Amsterdam back in 2017. This is the first time that VidCon has come to London. So I've just got my uh, band here and my ID card. As you can see, it's a community one. I was going to go for the Creators Pass, but I changed my mind at the last minute. I'll reveal why at the end of this video. Now, today is Friday, so they're going to do an open show. I'm going to check that out. I'll record what I can, but some things I might not be able to upload, some things I can upload. It really all depends on copyright, but I hope you guys will enjoy it. Hello, groovy people of this room. My name's Jack Howard. And I'm Dean Dobbs, and welcome to the first ever VidCon London! That? Well, you want me to say Jack and Dean are absolutely brilliant and that their new show Jack and Dean More Trades is on YouTube now for free? <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. Oh, it's just a bit self-indulgent, isn't it? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Greg. Who's Greg? He's the sound guy. Yeah, no, it's just Dean. Where did you get the earpiece from? Well, Greg gave it to me. Well, yeah. Why don't I have one? He wants to know why he hasn't got an earpiece. Yeah. No, yeah, he's, he's, he's looking at me now. I don't think he knows that I'm talking about him. I do. Just like a green sweatshirt. Look, Greg, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that to him. Because I'm in front of an audience. They don't like that sort of stuff. No, they really don't like that. You shouldn't be saying stuff like that. I don't care if you said it in the heat of the moment. That's just not a good thing to say. You know I'm on stage right now. Oh, you do know I'm on stage right now. Right, okay, I'm, I'm cutting you off, Greg. Jesus, do you want that? Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, open those up. So this appears to be some sort of, uh, what I would call a, sorry, I've ruined one. This one needs to be reformed, a cookie. Biscuit. Biscuit. You call these biscuits. <coughs> I, I said it's what I would call a cookie. I didn't say it's what you would call a cookie. It's what you would call a biscuit. Hey, I'm, it's not like I've never been here before. Uh, Except, I've never been here before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right, think it. This is gonna be simple. And think it. Hmm. <laughs> My expectations were heightened by your enthusiastic response. <laughs> now you, ma'am, you're making some sort of motion. Like, st stretch it out, take longer to eat it, pull it apart. <laughs> I'm a stupid American. <laughs> Maybe if I twist it like an Oreo? <laughs> it's a prank food. <laughs> no, I, I just, they, they, every time you go in for it, they just... It will not pull apart. Just, I don't... I mean, I could do this all night. When you weren't listening, I requested six-year-old custard cream. They're a little dry. Might need to be dipped in milk. Um, <laughs> like, they have a jumpy bean quality. It's bad. I have a date tonight. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, we've been listening, we know. Okay, but what are you going to get your Valentine? Oh, oh no. Stand up for me, what's your name? Lexi, give it up for Lexi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lexi, I'm going to choose a YouTuber. It can be a real YouTuber or a fake YouTuber or one of those wannabe YouTubers who do magic tricks and hang around with Casper Lee. Uh, one, any one of those, give me any name you like. Jake Paul. Okay, Jake Paul. Oh, that's divided opinion. Jake Paul is the YouTuber. 
cushion. Okay, Lexi, throw the cushion behind you recklessly. Someone else is going to catch it. Go. Oh my god, it's a hell of a throw. It's nearly hit that lady there. Hello. How are you? Sorry, you're a bit wounded after that. Um, could you give me an activity like swimming or, you know, being a bit of a prat that Jake Paul <laughs> might, might be doing? Any activity <laughs> at all, madam, out, out loud would be amazing. Frankly, <laughs> <laughs> this is a video I would watch. Who says YouTube is dead? No, 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 nonsense. Right. J. Paul Drowning, can we like this? Yeah. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I can see Patrick's manager in the wings going, stop this now. Uh, pass it on for me, madam. Throw it behind you one more time. Beautiful, volley throw. What's your name, madam? Is that a madam? Yes, miss. Hello, what's your name? Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Don't, don't, don't be nervous. Imagine I'm naked. Not, not him, but that's good. Imagine, imagine you'll be fine. Um, where is Jake Paul drowning? It doesn't have to make sense. So it could be a country, it could be a city, it could be a anything. Where is Jake Paul drowning? <laughs> He's drowning in hell. <laughs> Anything? Nothing. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Gabby is stunned. You can't break that. You hate it. Is this racist? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. I could tweet about this. I was thirsty. You can just do that. We're Jack and Dean. Thanks for watching this mess of a show. Enjoy. There's still tickets left to Rhett Rec and Link's show. You can watch that later. Um, anything you want to plug, Dean? Uh, my wet fingers into a book socket. All right. <laughs> Today is now Saturday, and as you can see, I'm wearing my Dalek Saram t-shirt, same one that my dad got me for my birthday. So the plan for today, I'm going to check out a few panels, and I'm going to try and get into some of the meet and greets, because there are some YouTubers that I really want to meet. Wish me luck. What was the thing that you were most worried about when you first started YouTube? Um, uh... <laughs> I, I, that was a weird noise. <laughs> I honestly think, I wasn't worried about it, but I was kind of like, because I'd come out of uni and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I was kind of worried what my parents might have thought, like, what is this? Because at the time when I started, it was literally just people filming videos in their bedrooms, that's all it was. So explaining to that and being like, mum and dad, I think I wanted something, and then being like, okay. This, because obviously I couldn't do both at the same time because I was working with my dad but then I was just like, I think this YouTube thing may be a thing so I was, I was, yeah, set on that but I was worried about them reacting obviously they're great but it's a big thing to tell your parents For me, um, I can't sit down and just like throw up a video I mean I try, it's just I'm not comfortable with it yet so I have like a bit OCD when I film like if it's not perfect, if the lighting's not perfect, if the sound isn't right um, like, I film videos and I haven't uploaded them, just because I'm like, oh, I'm at the beginning of my YouTube career, everything needs to be 100%, just because everybody around me is, like, you know, amazing and super talented. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm just getting comfortable with being, like, myself and being flawed and, you know, just being human, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I think for me, um, at the beginning, it was the negativity because obviously during YouTube, I mean, everyone, I think all of us have probably had to hate comments before. Um, and so I think it was knowing that I was putting myself out there for the whole world to see. Um, and I think at the beginning, I was a lot more insecure about the way I looked, but I think through doing YouTube, it has really built my confidence. Um, but I think at the beginning, I'd be, you know, I'd wear loads of makeup and videos because I was insecure, or I'd use a couple of fringe to try and hide my eye. But through doing it, I'm just now you need to love yourself. Um, and I think at the beginning, I found that quite hard about YouTube. Um, I think it's like when you put yourself out there as well, um, you just don't know what's going to come back. Uh, so, you, you know, anything can come out of your past and things like that. And, you know, I might not have been perfect in the past. I'm sure everyone has made mistakes in the past. So, you just don't know when you put yourself out there into such a <laughs> wide platform. You're like, oh my god, you know, anything can happen. Um, so, yeah, I think that was quite scary. And it was it's always, it's not nice to see like hate coming. I get quite angry as well. I, I, I bicker with people in the comments. I'm like, what the hell are you saying? I try and fight back. Um, but uh, yeah, it's learning to like, deal with that. Uh, if you weren't making videos together, but you were separate YouTubers, what genre of videos would you be creating? Peeling videos. <laughs> Just only peeling things. We were practicing for our show uh, yesterday morning in my hotel room and of course you know red's like playing the guitar and i'm sitting over here just you know just singing and we're just having a ball and we we played a couple of songs and then i, I was like okay we should practice this one we don't have this one down and then he's and i look up and red's like he's like the pick guard on his guitar all of a sudden i realized he's he's like oh i didn't realize this was here he's had this guitar for how long Less than a year. <laughs> Let's just say a year for the sake of a year. The other, he, he starts peeling off the pick on him. I'm like, whoa, wait! I gotta put this on my Instagram! Shout out to my Instagram, Link Lamont. <laughs> yeah, but. but I'm at, and then he, he, it was off. And I'm like, dude, you can't do that to me. You can't peel something. But we're supposed to be satisfied by just witnessing it. I only saw the second half of it. You weren't like, hey man, you'll never believe this, but there's a thing here that I didn't realize I could peel, and I know you're really into that, so would you like to do it? Or, you mean I just started doing it? You just little, ooh. Oh, I thought you said that Rhett said that. I was like, that is so kind. No, I didn't say that. He did. I started peeling it. I saw the, oh, by the time I looked up, it was, I heard the sound. I was like, oh, what the hell? I looked over there, and it was off. He just had it dangling in his hand. I was like, no! Rhett? Uh, I would have a YouTube channel where I applied uh, plastic shrink wrap to different things. <laughs> oh. uh, it was, and so everyone would have to watch my videos before they watch yours. <laughs> 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 you want to see this refrigerator receive the plastic? Go to Rhett's channel. <laughs> Okay guys, I've done the panels, I've been to the meet and greets, and now for Saturday evening, I'm going to a disco. It's now Sunday, the last day of VidCon, and on this last day, I thought I'd wear something new. Check this out, a 
Thunderbird 2 hoodie. Uh, you know I'm a Jerry Anderson fan. Today I thought I'd spend some time in the expo hall, check out all the stalls and the activities you can do down there. Okay, so when you enter the hall, the first thing you see is VidCon merch stall. Or as Richard James would say, merch, merch, merch. Over there is an interview booth interviewing YouTubers about what technology and equipment they use for making their videos. So this Jeep here is to advertise GoPro. For those of you who don't know, GoPro is very small cameras. Very useful for doing outdoor activity. There's some more merch, merch, merch stalls. That one over there is stuffed by Dean Dobbs. This one here is stuffed by Joey Graceffa. Another merch stall, this time things from Retin Link. Good Mythical Morning and I love this one. What the crap? <laughs> There's also a gaming section here. Well, vintage games, they're all playing retro games. It's a bit like being back at MCM. There's a Wonder Park display here. There's actually three displays. This one featuring a ride, then there's one over there with balloons, and another one involving cameras. Check out the balloon display behind me. It is awesome! <laughs> also here is two Moji doing lots of dancing and music. And over there, Adobe Experience. Three boobs there, bubbles, dance, and balls. I think I know which one I'll go for. Three, two, one. If there's one bit of advice that you could give your younger selves, knowing now what you do, what would it be in terms of mental health? Delete Vine off your phone. Go back. <laughs> it's not worth it. No, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Not landing today. <laughs> yeah. I would say for me, I hid so much. I was, I mean, I'm still such an angry person, but I used to put a lot of sadness out in anger because I was too embarrassed to admit that I was sad or hurt. So I would do more like angry things and like lashing out. And I probably was like that up until like four years ago. So I think my biggest note would be, it's okay to be sad, acknowledge that you're sad, process why you're sad, find people to talk about being sad, or else it's gonna come out in really toxic ways. For me, I'd just say like, hey, just, 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 just go to bed for 2013. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't unload everything you're feeling live online and make a real tin of yourself. Um, because that was, that was like how my, like, real low fall uh, manifest itself was in, yeah, oversharing excessively. So, yeah, I would just say, yeah, do talk to real people. Don't just jump in front of a camera or jump on Twitter because you're going to handle this poorly. You're going you're gonna to have a, a negative impact on strangers and the ones you love and yourself. Um, so, yeah, talk to a human idiot. Um, yeah. Well, that seems like as good advice as any, I think. Unless, do you want to add anything, Jake? I think just, like, put energy into yourself. Uh, don't worry about having to be there for other people kind of thing. Um, I was just going to say, ask me again in five years, Holly, you know? <laughs> I'd just love to know how you got into it. What was the first day that you decided to put a video up on TikTok? I think you were starting it. Um, so I used to work on Facebook. Uh, that's how I started. I was making makeup videos um, back in the day. And I met a chap who was on Musical.ly, because that's what it was at the time. He was like, you should just get on Musical.ly. It's really fun and it's, it's quick and no one's really doing makeup. And then, yeah. Here we are, two years later. Very simple. 
Okay. <laughs> um, so I was just bored and I yeah, it was like three years ago now, I think. Um, I was on Instagram and I just saw a dancer post about musically. But yeah, so from that I was just like, oh, I might see what that is. I posted on there and it kind of just blew up. Um, I started on Vine, if you guys know what Vine is. Um, yeah. All right, Vine. Vine. Oh. Um, <laughs> and from Vine, when that was like, we had three days notice that that was just going to disappear. Musically just grabbed us all and went, join! And I was like, yes. Uh, so it's a new platform that's quite similar. So I just started making comedy on there instead. But yeah, boredom as well as Tessa. Um, I'm from a really small island in the Channel Islands, so there's nothing to do there. Very boring. It's not Jersey, is it? Guernsey. Oh, I'm used to Jersey. Very boring. Guernsey's a bit smaller, so there you go. Um, but yeah, that's how I started doing stuff. Just boredom. And I loved media and like acting and stuff as well. I uh, did musical theatre and media studies at school, so just did all of them together. And that's what the music is. I feel like I'm seeing more and more violence now on TikTok and TikTok. No, but I like it because I'm like, oh, the good old days. Um, uh, yeah, so I started TikTok about two years ago. I did YouTube before that. Um, and again, it's about boredom on YouTube. So happened to be at an event that I met Hussein, who's a singer on TikTok. And he told a load of us about the app. And we were all having dinner. And we all just decided to create an account. And it was one of those apps that you kind of went back to every few months. And, and then it just stuck. It took a while to stick, probably about six months in total before I started uploading videos. <coughs> Mine was pretty much the same as Vicky. Um, I was like making videos for YouTube and then I just decided to start shortening them and putting them on musically. I miss the music in days. Um, oh, you can't do that. TikTok in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so exactly the same as Vicky. Hey guys, so this is the Black Bad. It's going to be Hey, welcome to VidCon. Is this your first time? Yeah, this is my first time. I'm having a great time. Thank you. Because uh, you were here. here Excel last year for Summer in the City. How does yeah. it compare? Um, Summer in the City, it was definitely less people. You can kind of talk around. But right now in Midcom, you can see all your video creators everywhere. We saw like two people, or two creators in our hotel reception. Oh, so you basically wow. see everyone, anyone. You can meet anyone. And everyone's so lovely. That's so good. Because uh, you met uh, the Merrill Twins before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I met them yesterday. Oh, so lovely. And uh, on, on your channel, uh, what do you do on your channel? Well, I do motivational speaking, so I do a different inspirational video. Sometimes I do bits and bobs, so I want everyone to enjoy it. I think that's kind of like girly or boy stuff, I just want it to be open to everyone pretty much. Well, keep up the excellent work. Thank you so much. And definitely subscribe to this channel. Oh, thank you. And subscribe to hers as well. Thank you. <laughs>
got that kind of smile and it's so clear your secrets. You know all the answers, let's play along, have some fun with it. No, show me the places that you've been hiding, take me all around them. I can't go on. team member to wander over to the table and pick up a card. The rules are, if you can take a card, all right, if you don't right. want to do that one that you see first, you can pass, but you then have to do the next one. I didn't see it. Okay. Um, obviously, you can't show your team because they are the ones helping you out, I guess it. So, you've seen what you've got to draw, you're going to take that one? Yeah? You've got yours? Yeah. Okay, you get 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, the other team members, obviously, you're trying to guess what your teammate is drawing. So if you get it, shout it out, and uh, you'll win that round. Okay. Um, are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, are we ready here? Viz, come on, are we ready? Okay, your 30 seconds starts right now. Go! It's a uh, battery. Was it a tennis oh, racket? Trying to, draw. trying to draw a waffle. Oh, that ain't my next get finished at. I was just, you know, just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, yes, yes. Oh, it's a, a, a tennis racket. Oh. <laughs> you can see the waffle, it was a good effort. You just didn't have enough time. That's very hard, okay. Yeah, you've got to do this with Hank, okay. Um, all right, so you guys are ready. Winners versus team left wing. Um, we're gonna do 30 seconds. Can we get a countdown from you guys, please? Ready? Three, two, one. Numbers, but I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna allow it. I mean, I wrote, I wrote some letters too, so I feel spelling bee. Two points for us. Good one. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that means it's a point each then. So we should probably do a right. deciding round, another one. Uh, do you want to clean the board there? <laughs> Alright. Uh, ready then. Uh, can we get a countdown from you, please? Three, Three two, one, go! Stick with happy, happy, baby! And what, yeah. were, what were they? Can we just say that was an arrow? Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Yeah. Bag. Don't tell me what it was. Does anyone know what this is? Yes. Recycling logo. Recycling. Recycling logo. What was it? It was recycle. Recycle. I forgot how to draw an arrow and that helped me back a bit. I did think it was lightning at first. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Still good. Okay, well, if that was the time, we need one more deciding round. Winner takes all. Can we get a countdown, please? Three. Three, Three two, two, one. Go. All the way to the uh, toilet. Uh, it's uh, a uh, What? No, so it's supposed to be a scream. But, oh, that's uh, very good. Yeah. 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 It's very detailed, you've done well, but uh, team winners, we guess with their name. Oh, like, you can do well done. You're proud of me. But we win as friends. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Cool. So, I guess that everyone out here has seen some of the Fortnite dance moves before, right? So let's kick it off with one of the most well-known ones. Take it away, Twist. One of my favourites is the hype. Do you guys know the hype? Yeah? yeah. So we're just going to go for it quick. Already. For a few people that don't know what the hype is, especially this, so you're going to have your arm like this, joining, especially Luke. I'm so Luke. bad, like embarrassing you bad, so enjoy this. But we're going to do two, two like this. One, two, and it's the leg at the same time. One, two, and then we bring the arm down. Three, four. That's just a simple version, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. It's like you're kicking the football at all times. If it was just a leg, it would be... 
like that, but with the arm, you're going up and down. Join in and down. Join in in the. You guys should do it with us. Yes. Yeah. You guys can stand up and you yes, want to. Feel free. So with that, we're going to do a jump as well. So we're going to go jump, two, three, four, join in. And you are going too much, join in. Already, join in. Uh, yes, over here. We're doing it. Good. My legs through the roof. Nice. This one's okay. called okay. Take the L. Take the oh. L. So, when you yeah. use your hand. Uh, I, just, I just saw a dad down there. Like this, straight away. Straight away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's me funny, bro. <laughs> Hands on your head, here like this. And all you're going to be doing is kick, oh. swap, kick, swap, and kick, swap, change, change, oh, stop. Man. I like this one better, this is a bit simpler. It's pure really pop. Yeah. It's really I feel like a loser doing it. <laughs> well, you meant to be saying it's a new you, it's for someone else. But oh, I'm supposed to do it to someone else? Oh, why? Right, Jackie, I saw you like doing it. Like, don't hide now. Do you guys know the old-fashioned sprinkler where you go like this? Oh my god, I've never seen that before in my life. Are you serious? Is that what it is? That's from yeah, the 60s. The sprinklers used to do that. Now they just do like they. Oh, oh the sprinklers, yeah. Sorry, the ones in the garden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you now. You're welcome, everybody. That makes You're sense. welcome. Uh, there is... how impressed he was? Now you do that to your friends, they'll be like, wow. Oh my god, that's like so lucky to be friends with them. Someone's definitely going to take that clip and it's going to make its way into the next Fortnite game. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to get paid. Okay. <laughs> So it's now Monday and I've just got back and I can conclude that I have had an excellent time at VidCon. I learned so much from the panels, I tried several of the activities, I made a new friend, I met some of my followers from Instagram and I got some souvenirs. A VidCon London pin badge, I should be adding that to my pin badge collection. Toonmoji gave me this bag, all nice and shiny. And I've still got some of the glitter from the um, shower. But the highlight for me was the meet and greets. I met Joey Graceffa and I told him how much I was enjoying Escape the Night. And I also met Vanessa and Veronica, the Merrill twins. They were lovely. Now earlier in this video I said that I went for a community pass instead of a creator's pass. And now I shall explain why. With these red community passes, not only are they the cheapest, but with these you have access to the meet and greet lottery. So you can choose which famous YouTubers you want to meet and have your photo taken with. Now if you go for the purple creator badge, which is ideal if you're a YouTuber, you pay a little bit more, but you have access to various workshops and panels and a lounge so you can meet other creators. But you don't have access to the meet and greets. So if you're ever going to VidCon, and if you're a YouTuber, you've got a very big decision to make, and it's not easy. On the one hand, you may want to meet some famous YouTubers, but on the other, you may want to attend some of the panels that the creators are attending. Of course, there is a third option. You could get the blue industrial ticket. With this, you have access to both the meet and greets and the creator workshops. But it is very expensive. And I mean very expensive. Of course, the prices for the tickets all change. It depends on when you order them, whether it's super early or at the last minute. Now, as far as I know, VidCon is returning to London next year, so I might go again. Whether I go as community or creator, it really depends on which YouTube stars are going to be there, because there are some American YouTubers that I really want to meet, like Rosanna Pansino, MatPat, Justine, Chad, V, and some of the reactors from the FBE channel. However, I think next time I would like to go with some friends, because to be honest, VidCon is even more enjoyable if you go with a group of people. Now, like Summer in the City, I'll probably do two additional videos. One of them would be clips from panels that I went to, 
so put them all together instead of doing them separately. And the other would be clips from the full performances. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'll do what I can with uploading the performances. When it comes to singing and music, it can be really difficult to upload to YouTube. Now the clips in this video, they should be okay, but if not, I would have to take this video down and reload it without the music and songs. Hopefully it won't come to it, but if it does, my apologies. Copyright is so annoying. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed my vlog of VidCon London. If you have, do give it a thumbs up, and I'll put all the links of the YouTubers I've met in the description below, so do go and check them out. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video, and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I've uploaded some photos to Instagram and Twitter, so do go and check them out. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Daleks Ram out.